Good afternoon. We are here today in Dubai, in Ibn Battuta Gate, at the great event Spotlight into Belarus. Visiting so many events, this one particularly for me is so close to my heart because I'm proud Belarusian living for almost seven years in Dubai and I'm extremely excited about this conference happening here today. And I'm so honored to talk to Ambassador Republic of Belarus, Andrei Luchonak. Andrei, good afternoon. Uh, how do you classify today's event in the opportunities between United Arab Emirates and Republic of Belarus? Well, this is in fact the second event of its kind. The first one uh, was held in October last year. Uh, we, uh, let's say, we tried. Yeah, uh, we 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 saw how the ball uh, is rolling, and uh, this year we brought more than 20 companies from Belarus to present their products, to present their investment projects, to find the partners. Because uh, as an ambassador, as a government official, my task is to bring, to, to create the conditions, the framework for the business circles and to bring the business community of the two countries closer to each other. I think this kind of event is exactly done for that. It's beautiful events, and you rightly said that there is a lot of opportunities. But if you're talking about specific fields, where you see mostly the potential between the relationship of UAE and Belarus? Uh, well, if we talk about the investment, uh, today uh, uh, there are two big projects uh, realized in Belarus with the Emirates investment. The biggest of them is these, uh, done by MR properties. Uh, the amount, the volume of the project is uh, 4.5 billion dollars. It will be uh, quite a unique project for my, for my country. It's kind of a uh, smart city within a city. It is a district with the University of Artificial Intelligence, as uh, expo site, with residential buildings and many, many others. It will be something uh, really unique. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm going like traveling once a year to Belarus, but I've heard about this project. If I'm not mistaken, it's where the area of the Minsk Airport one, um, not formerly not, not not exactly the same. It's a different. The name of the project, the North Waterfront, means on the north outskirts of the city. Uh, yeah, this this is uh, concerning uh, the investment opportunity, but we also have the trade. Trade. Okay. The, the uh, for the trade, uh, as I just mentioned uh, on the forum, uh, we are not not uh, what's economic giant, yeah, uh, middle-sized European country, uh, 9.5 million of populations, similar to uh, to the United United Arab Emirates, uh, but our. Uh, Turnover is fluctuating between 80 and 100 million dollars per year. For us, it's a, quite a good figure. It's slowly but consistently growing up, and I hope that the, the event, uh, like uh, like one of today, will help to make it bigger and bigger. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Andre. And I'm sure that we are looking for more projects to come and to be realized between UE and Belarus. My next guest today is Sergei Nabieshka, who is in charge for the Belarusian delegation here in Dubai. Sergei, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're in charge of the Belarusian delegation. So tell us more. How many people arrive? How long they're going to stay? What's the aim? What's the purpose? Ну, сегодня мы привезли 16 компаний. Это наш очередной визит в Арабские Эмираты, которые проходят под эгидой торгово-промышленных палат. Хочу отметить, что у нас давние дружеские отношения, и вчера в Шарже мы закрепили взаимодействие по линии торгово-промышленных палат с соответствующим соглашением. Сегодня мы проводим форум в Дубае. Здесь высокая заинтересованность со стороны арабского бизнеса. Мы приветствовали много уже знакомых компаний, которые имеют взаимодействие с белорусскими организациями. Мы рассчитываем попасть на выставку Gulf Food Manufacturing, где наши белорусские предприятия смогут ознакомиться с возможностями промышленного оборудования для мясомолочного комплекса. Завтра у нас еще насыщенная программа по посещению предприятий в Дубае в свободной экономической зоне. И я хочу сказать, что 
взаимоотношения с э, Арабскими Эмиратами мы выстраиваем в очень длительном направлении. Мы видим, насколько динамично развивается страна, насколько здесь востребованы высокие технологии, зеленая экономика, э, насколько заинтересованы в возможностях белорусских производителей по линии здравоохранения, э, телемедицины. Поэтому я рассчитываю на очень хорошие результаты. Я полагаю, что наше сотрудничество продолжится, и мы обязательно будем ждать компании из Арабских Эмиратов у нас в Беларуси, в городе Минск. At the moment, the Belarusian delegation is represented by 16 companies, so which are coming to visit uh, Dubai and the United Arab Emirates under the aegis of uh, Belarusian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Minsk branch. Um, at the moment, we have already uh, uh, had a business meeting in uh, Sharjah Chamber of Commerce and Industry um, and uh, during our meeting we have managed to sign the agreement on cooperation. Um, after that, uh, we are willing to uh, visit uh, Eurasia Gulf uh, uh, exhibition, uh, which will be held in Dubai during uh, 8 to 9th of November. Uh, at the moment, I shall al should also notice that the economy of uh, United Arab Emirates uh, is uh, interested in uh, green economy development, uh, in uh, searching of different spheres of investments, and etc. Hoping that our business mission will help uh, both of our countries mutually develop in uh, those spheres. It's a great honor to talk to COO of Eurasia Gulf, Osama. Pleasure meeting you. My pleasure. Thank you so much for uh, attending our event. I, I'm, it's my honor. Absolutely. Can you evaluate today's event in terms like it's met your expectation, exceed maybe your expectations? It's, I, I think it was a great event in which we managed to put together a group of uh, like uh, officials and businessmen from Belarus with local uh, business people and officials. So I think it, I see that everybody is happy, everybody is asking questions, everybody exchanging cards. So I think it was quite a good event. Absolutely. And can you tell more about what do you do specifically? Yeah. Like you, you had a great presentation. So brief, brief us about it. Yeah. Uh, first, as EuroAsia Gulf, we, we are a business platform that work on connecting business between Gulf region and CIS countries. So basically, this platform is uh, initiating some projects. One of them is the one of uh, my presentation today, was about so-called EuroAsia Grocery Hub, which is a platform, a physical and online platform that work on promoting all food and beverage products manufactured in CIS countries. Uh, when we talk about CIS, as you know, we talk about 15 countries. Belarus is one of them. So basically, we are hoping that by third quarter of next year, our platform will be on, our hub will be on, and basically we have products from these countries on the shelf. Absolutely, we are looking for that and wishing you all the best with it and looking forward for more events, including Belarus, because we have a great potential. We are looking for the long-term relationship and to establish more projects here. Thank you so much again and uh, hope to see you again. It's my pleasure now to talk to Andrei Berezovsky. We met for the first time a year ago at the first edition of Eurasia Spotlight into Belarus and now is the second one. Can you tell what was the progress from the first edition to the second one? Um, yes, thank you. Well, actually, it's always pleasure to uh, talk about the progress and uh, it's always pleasure to be at such events like uh, we are now uh, and this is the second time Spotlight into Belarus. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we see certain uh, interests and uh, certain perspectives uh, for uh, Arabian businessmen uh, in our country and also for uh, our businesses uh, in Dubai. Uh, we see a lot of opportunities for joint projects and for joint ventures, uh, for, for joint businesses, uh, which will benefit to the economies of the both countries. And uh, if I take the precise examples of how we move, uh, I can tell for sure that um, we feel certain interests of uh, Arabian businesses in various fields of uh, 
uh, in those various fields of economy like uh, light industry, uh, production of food and beverages, uh, real estate, uh, IT, high tech. Uh, mining, crypto mining. So these are uh, the requests, uh, the perspectives uh, the, uh, th that we receive uh, from the uh, representatives of uh, Arabian business who look to locate their companies uh, in Belarus. And um, this is probably the most uh, efficient progress. Uh, what is more, mm, during next year, we are planning as a result of uh, these events uh, during next year we plan uh, to organize a business mission of uh, arabian businesses uh, to belarus uh, when uh, we can allow them to see with their own eyes what our country is not only from the business perspective but also from the cultural perspectives since uh, belarus is quite opposite in terms of the nature in terms of uh, the uh, color it uh, to united arab emirates so i assume that they will find it really interesting and they will, will be favorably impressed Absolutely, because we can talk for hours about how beautiful and great our country is, but it's better to see at least once with your own eyes. That's a great initiative, good luck with that. But let's, the perspective of next five years, which fields you think will be potentially uh, booming between UE and Belarus? Right, it's, uh, well, uh, we cannot uh, add a fly in an ointment and say that uh, now we survive some certain geopolitical challenges and uh, the time of challenges uh, normally uh, often we say that the time of challenges is the time of perspectives and uh, this is what businesses normally feel uh, in belarus from this perspective from this respect, uh, is, uh, we have a lot of uh, perspectives. Uh, now a lot of niches uh, become free to be occupied for uh, foreign companies and uh, the Arabian companies are not uh, an exception. Uh, we see that they can locate different uh, productions uh, to localize and substitute the products which Belarus normally imports. Um, and uh, if we take the exact uh, fields of industry, well, I can say about uh, the production of uh, clothes, agricultural equipment, uh, well, as a production of food and beverages. So these are all the niches uh, which can be in demand uh, in the near future by uh, Arabian business. And I'm delighted now to talk to Council General, Republic of Belarus, Evgeny. Evgeny, it wasn't very easy to catch you. I believe the fact that you're so busy seems that there is a lot of interest into doing business between United Arab Emirates and Belarus. How do you consider it? Of course, uh, um, we've been uh, trying to promote uh, our business relations uh, for several years now. And uh, we are proud to say that uh, the business relations, investment relations between Belarus and UAE are increasingly growing. So from this point of view, of course, uh, we uh, as diplomatic missions, uh, we try to catch every moment, every opportunity in order to get the businesses together. And uh, this uh, event, which is being held here in Dubai, of course, is a great chance for us uh, to uh, match more people, more businesses, so that they would complement uh, the prosperity and wealth uh, both of Belarus and UAE. Absolutely. So we know that 2022 is almost over. So what's the highlight of this year and what's the aim for 2023 in terms of the business relationship? Of course, the uh, central event uh, for uh, Belarus and UAE in 2022 is Expo. Uh, we've been participating uh, very actively in this uh, event and uh, we've brought many delegations. Uh, we've, had, uh, we've seen the signing of many contracts and uh, we're hopeful that they will be implemented in 2023 and beyond. And, but still we do not stop. We uh, try to keep the momentum and uh, that is the reason why we uh, have organized uh, this forum today. Uh, as a result, I'm proud to say that uh, we uh, may see 
the record in our export to the UAE. Absolutely. You were talking about the Expo 2020. I have to highlight the point that it was such a beautiful pavilion. And I think thanks to that, many people uh, start to know about the bird trees and especially bird juice, which was selling there as well. And I have a lot of friends who fall in love with it. <laughs> and um, to, uh, you told about the 2023 and uh, the opportunities, but which fields particularly you see the potential? Uh, of course, speaking about Expo, as a Deputy Commissioner General for our pavilion, I'm proud to say that uh, we've worked very hard in order to make sure that our participation in this event, in this global event, uh, well-organized event, was uh, really effective. And uh, uh, you're right saying that uh, Belarus Pavilion uh, was uh, one of the most popular. Uh, over one million people have visited Belarus Pavilion and uh, this has become uh, in uh, top 20 of uh, all uh, best visited pavilion at Expo. And um, Expo also was uh, like a testing site for us uh, because uh, we represented uh, uh, about 200 of our Belarusian brands in our uh, souvenir sh shop that we had in our pavilion. And uh, uh, I'm proud to say that 100% of what we were selling in our pavilion has been sold. That means that there is a demand for products made in Belarus, for quality that is produced in Belarus, and we would like to continue with this pace. And uh, of course, uh, we're looking forward that uh, this coming year will bring even more opportunities and chances for us.